with another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can install the one eui launcher which is another best custom launcher for any custom rom so the installation process will be a bit different or a bit complicated that's why i recommend you guys to watch till the end if you miss the video then you can't install this one and we must root our device using magisk so here is the magix i already rooted my device and first of all we need four files two apks and two zip files and another important thing which is ls post you guys already know about the ls post and let me show you the files these are the files necessary files ls post one UI home app and one UI launcher modes we uh one UI launcher that's one so which one we should flash first let me show you first open magic manager then go to module section and install from storage and navigate to the folder you have downloaded the file so here is the files first of all i recommend to install the ls post and let is let it be installed when you are done get back again install this one one ui launcher again get back install from storage now this time install one ui home app these are three magic modules now do reboot i'm skipping that part so device finally booted and you guys will get a message like this shortcut uh, add to home screen this is from ls post and you are done and here is the shortcut of ls post you can see here now navigate to the folder the downloaded files where you have stored So here is the files now do one thing first of all install one UI icon patcher so that we guys can change uh, any custom font sorry i custom icons very advanced level things now install one UI launcher modes 2.4 and provide that permission and we need to reboot it once again just do done and just scroll down the node control center and you guys will get expose module is not activated yet just click on it and let it be open now enable the module and one UI home you guys can see here now we don't need to do anything we are done here everything is done now just activate it and get back so everything is done here and one UI launcher and other things you can you guys can open this one and allow all the permission grant root permission one of launcher modes and error loading apps because we don't have that application right now and where is that and this is the home app now do one thing just do reboot your device once again device booted once again now go to settings and type here default home app default home app our default apps home app we need here the default home app just click on that and select one UI that means we are just we already changed it now we are using the one UI launcher just like this now you guys can open this mod uh, here we have the one UI launcher mode so just open this one and error loading applications tweaks and apps icon patcher uh, everything is on here you guys can see the home app open it and just click on start and configure storage scopes at the provide the allow permission so here we get it. so home app everything is just awesome here task changer very very interesting fact is here you guys can change the grid options and uh, still now we don't have any custom launcher just like this one we have extra grid options let me show you click on list grid stack vertical and last but not the least slim list you guys can use it like this let me show you now it's showing this when you change it like grid you will get it like this which is awesome 
and again let me change it to stack and you guys will get it like this just awesome and another important thing is that here you guys will get butter smooth experience on that now vertical list let me check this one so this is the vertical one again last but not the least slim list this is the slim list so these are the uh, recent menus you guys can easily use on home app so i like this one grid one which is really really cool just like this you guys can easily use and other things like a mini mode show the small recent app list at the bottom of the screen in portrait mode in order to make a one hand operation easier and other customization like allow button gesture in full screen mode gesture uh, top priority settings and bottom gesture sensitivity settings uh, these are the task changer and home settings home grid options you guys can also change these things and hide app icon level and loop pages and folders uh, pop-up folders and folder title suggestion so many things are there backup and restore as well these are the things now another important thing is here if you want to change the icon pack uh, previously we are uh, we having a problem here error loading apps because we don't had any application that means any icon pack application uh, you guys can download from play store just go to and also buy icon pack and other icon packs there if you uh, type icon packs you guys will get huge collections of icon packs just download one and then open one ui launcher this one app drawer apps and you guys will get that application here and click here and app will be loaded and when you are done here you guys can see you guys can change that name and other things then you guys can see on the top apply icon packs just click on that and here you guys can see apply just click on that and applying icon packs so it's done and get back and it's changed or not i don't know okay let me do it once again so if you want to apply the icon packs you need to do one thing you have to drag that oxypy icon pack whatever any icon pack you guys can do just click on the draw line and drag it and you have to just put it down uh, after that uh, line then you guys can apply this one no icon packs above the line and what is that just let it be like this and then apply And I tried this uh, to change app icons, but I don't know why it's not working. Maybe there might be some problem. I got to fix icons set after changing the icon packs. And you guys can just do that. Okay. Now let me check it. Is it working or not? still icon is not changing so, but i don't think uh, maybe it can work on your device and remember one thing this is for android 13 not for any android 12 and 11 so watch till the end video i hope you guys understand and if you need any icon pack to home screen then just drag drag it to home screen you guys can uh, change it according you guys can customize it according to your choice and if you press and hold on the home screen you guys can change wallpaper or any styles and widgets and settings as well you guys can open the settings as you will and here we have some customizations and really thanks to the developer writer hikari for building this one and this is the final and uh, great build you guys can easily use any custom room this i think this is gonna be another best um android port uh, launcher port actually is use butter smooth experience so hope you guys like my work and if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon